there and welcome to Beauty Talk. My name is Linda and if you don't know me already, I am passionate about skincare, makeup and beauty in general. So if those are topics that you're interested in, you are in the right channel. And today I wanted to share with you some of the products that I purchased in my recent trip to Paris. So essentially it's a shopping haul, but a Parisian shopping haul. So if you're interested in seeing that, please keep on watching. But before, I wanted to ask you to please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You have no idea how important that is for me. It will really help for the YouTube algorithm to push my videos forward so that my videos can reach a lot more people. So that would be really helpful for me. And also don't forget to give me a like so that I know you like this type of video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it here below. There I share other little tips about beauty and also you you can see some bits of my you know personal life if you're interested in so now let's get into the video all right so now you may have seen in the in the thumbnail that it's like I have like a small bag but I purchased a lot more than, than what you can fit in this small bag um, I purchased in different places I didn't only do shopping in Sephora but somehow I threw away the other bags so I had to use a Sephora bag <laughs> So yes, I did shopping in several places in Paris. I went there at the end of the summer. I recorded this video um, a long time ago also in Spanish. Well, not a long time ago, but I did record it already like at the end of summer, like really soon after I purchased all these products. However, I didn't get around to film this video in English and I just, I would like to know, like, are people really interested in seeing me watch, you know, I, I'm kind of curious to know what people are interested because I'm kind of struggling. I definitely enjoy filming videos both in English and in Spanish, but I'm struggling to understand like how much English speaking of my audience I have and English people, English speaking people from my audience I have and Spanish speaking people from my audience that I have. I know that all my videos in Spanish have been doing really good. There's a lot of views, but in terms of the English speaking ones, it's like sometimes there's a lot of good views and sometimes they're kind of low. So it's kind of hard to understand. And then there's the other thought about doing the videos in English and then putting subtitles in Spanish or the other way around. But I feel like working on the subtitles would make it longer for me so perhaps it's just simpler to just film another video but i don't know what are your thoughts would you watch my videos with subtitles if i would film them in spanish would you watch them with english subtitles or do you prefer to see me you know speaking just in english let me know how you feel about that in the comments. So now let's talk about some of the products I purchased in Paris. It was a lovely time there. I had a really nice time with my husband. We walked a tons and my favorite thing is just to buy skincare when I travel. I love all my lotions and potions. <laughs> I love slathering things on my on my skin things. I mean yeah, skincare. So that's what I will be purchasing when I travel. I love that. And also I was looking for products that we don't have here in England. I live in England, by the way. So I was trying to look for products that we don't have here in England, or if we do have them, that perhaps they were a lot more cheaper there in Paris. So that's what I did. And I'm just going to start with, let's just go with body care, shall we? I'm going to break up the video just in categories so that it's easier for you to navigate. And there will be timestamps so you can skip any part that you're not interested in. And I think that's it. <laughs> so, uh, and also perhaps grab yourself a little beverage and enjoy the video. So let's start with a little bit of skincare. And I didn't buy anything too extravagant, really. I just wanted to explore what were the options. I was really, really looking forward to buying some sunscreens that we don't have here or that were a little bit cheaper there in Paris. However, uh, I don't know. I think I went at the end of the summer and it's like there were certainly a lot of sunscreens, but there was 
a lot of sunscreens that were kind of missing it was almost as it was the end of summer so it's the end of the merchandise there's not they're not bringing any more stock so that's what was left so i was a little bit disappointed i really wanted to purchase some more stuff in terms of sunscreens because they have brands like nukes la roche posay bioderma and so on all these brands and i'm sure perhaps there would have been a bigger store that had them but somehow the places i went didn't have uh, didn't have some of the products that i was looking for but that's that anyway one of the products that i purchased was this one from La Roche Posay. This is their famous Antilios, but this is like a pocket version. So you see how small it is. And I thought this was great because I haven't seen it here in England and I really like it because it's so small and compact. It's just perfect for carrying it in your bag, especially in the summer. Now, summer is kind of ended. You don't perhaps want to, you don't really need to carry this, but if you, if you are walking around outside, perhaps uh, it's good to have in the bag. I did actually, while I was in Paris, after I recently purchased this, I did carry it in my handbag and because it's so small, so easy. So it was really good, especially for my husband to touch up. I usually touch up using a, a sunscreen in spray, but this is really nice. And this is slightly different from the Shaka fluid because this is Antilius. It's the pocket, but I think it doesn't have it's not the exact same formula as the other one that we have here in England and that's available everywhere. It's the Shaka Fluid 400 UV Moon. UV Moon. I will put a picture in the in the in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. This one you don't need to shake, and actually the texture is a little bit thicker. I'll just quickly show you show you because the the uh, the normal one, the traditional one, is rather very runny this one is not so runny so it's slightly different but it's still very nice and it sits really well under makeup and it doesn't have this has traditional smell the la roche posay's products which is kind of like just a smell not particularly a fragrance <laughs> that they use it's just the smell of the ingredients i suppose but it's a very nice one and yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. So a couple of other products that I purchased was some waterproof makeup removals or bifacial, uh, bifacial waterproof makeup removers. And I bought two. As you can see, it's been a while since I was meant to record this video because this is nearly, <laughs> nearly literally out so like i said i bought these two products i was really looking forward to buying this one because this one i hadn't seen here in england however i did see it online in look fantastic and this one we now have it here in the uk but i just couldn't contain myself and i had to purchase there so as you can see this one i'm nearly out of it but i was really looking forward to getting these kind of products because i have been using a lot of waterproof mascara and I don't really need to have this because if I use a, a makeup removing balm or makeup removing oil, that works really well. And I actually prefer that to these kind of products. However, I still thought it would be useful to have them. And because there are days where I just prefer to use something like this. Right. So I purchased this one and although it's nearly done, um, I don't think it's my favorite. It's not, it's not the most amazing one, you know, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't work that well. I don't like to, to have to use a cotton pad and then, you know, you, you of course you leave it and then you sl gently rub it. But I still feel that that's perhaps something of myself. My skin is just really sensitive and having to use a cotton round and like just rub it is not doesn't feel very good for me. However, this one, I've only tried it a few times. It is still full. This is just the separation between the oil and the micellar water, but it's actually, this is, it is full of product. I've used it a few times. And this one is so much better than this one from Vichy. It's a biface micellar water from Bioderma. So you know that Bioderma has, they're super famous for their micellar water, which I have. And I love that product. I just feel like, Honestly, they are very gentle. They are the most gentlest uh, micellar wars there in the market. And this one is no different. This one is really, really nice. So 
when I was removing my waterproof mascara, this one, I did not have to leave it for so long and I did not have to rub it so long either for it to actually do the job. This one is great. We have it now here in England, if you live here in England. Um, and it's a really, really good one. And it's just so gentle and it really, really removes the makeup, especially waterproof makeup. The one from Vichy, um, I'm just gonna finish it but it's just not my favorite. I think I have, my, my eyes are really sensitive. So I think that, I think that uh, this, when you have to rub a cotton round around your eyes to remove products, I feel like that just kind of irritates me. So this one is not my favorite. I can't say it's a bad one. I just think it just doesn't work really well for me. So that's that. So in continuing with the, uh, face or skincare which this is a this is an old one this one is nearly done it's not the, the same package which is a completely new packet or pot of this La Roche-Posay Dermo cleanser and I purchased one there because it was really good price and I really like it however the fully new version I actually gave it away to my husband's grandma because she needed she needed a cleanser and I just gave it away but I still have a tiny little bit left and I thought I would still mention it because this is a really nice cleanser. It's super, super gentle. It does not have any kind of surfactants. It's very gentle. It doesn't work so well to remove makeup, but if you, for instance, you use something like this to remove the bulk of the makeup and then you use this, it will do a really nice job. I also love this product for uh, the winter in the morning to do my morning cleanse. It's so nice because it's it just does not strip your face. It just leaves your face nice and nourished and hydrated. So for me, this is a really great product and you have it here in England as well, but I just purchased one in Paris because I thought the price was good and I was needing it, so I purchased it. But this one's gonna be nearly done and I will definitely, I'll definitely buy it here in England because I, I really like this product and it does, it also doesn't have any fragrance, so it's great for those who are extremely sensitive. So this is nice. So I also purchased two toners one from Vichy, and this is like a supermarket brand that you will definitely not be able to find here in England. It's called Olissi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is Olissi Brum de Pool. So it's a pure water spray. And I love these kind of things because it really helps to kind of tone, refresh, and moisturize the, and moisturize the skin. I am really enjoying to use these kind of products in a mist form, so toners in a mist form. This does not have anything else but purified water. However, I just really enjoy it to kind of like after you wash your face, because once you wash your face, water still contains certain minerals, especially if you live in London. There's a lot of hard water that contains a lot of these minerals and chemicals that can be very harsh for the skin. So they create some sort of imbalance. They disturb your pH. So when you use this kind of product, it kind of like helps bring give back to the skin what it's lost after you've washed your face. So that's why I really enjoy using these kind of products. And also it's really nice to kind of refresh yourself, especially in the summer when it was really hot in the middle of the day, you just felt like you needed a little pick me up. And this is really amazing. I really like, and I really like the size of this. This was so, so economical because I think 2.99 euros, it was so nice. So I really enjoy this. It doesn't say it has thermal water. It just says it has purified water. So I don't know if there is a difference in that, but so far I've been really enjoying this one. However, the one from Vichy, which I'm not sure if you can get here in England, that's why I, I purchased it, because here you can buy the ones from Avene, which I really like, and also the ones from La Roche-Posay, but I didn't know if we could get this one, so I picked it up. This one is thermal water. It does have thermal water, which 
has um, the thermal water has been known to have uh, a lot of properties that are good for the skin, to soothe the skin, to hydrate the skin, just to really help it. So I, I really enjoy it. And this, this is just so practical to use it like this. You can even use it in your makeup. It has a really nice mist. <laughs> now I'm all wet. But it is just so pleasant to use it doesn't have any fragrance i have truly been enjoying it um i don't know if i th can say it's better than the event or the la roche posay i think i have to finish it and like you know try them side by side to see which one's better but so far it's just been really a pleasure to use this product and it's something that i plan to continue to have in my skincare repertoire so continuing with the pharmacy or the French pharmacy products, I got something for the body, which is this body lotion from Avene. Let's see what it's called. Moisturizing Melting in Balm. This is such a delicious product. I love the smell of the products from the pharmacy. They have such a clean and nice fragrance it's not like an overpowering smell it's just very delicate and just just so good this is a very uh, thick cream as you can see it's a balm but it's not it's not so thick that it's like it doesn't absorb into the skin no it really absorbs well and it just doesn't leave the skin feeling sticky rather it leaves the skin feeling nourishing it's 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 a joy to use it's really nice and i purchased that product because that one we do not have here in england we do not have this one here in england that's why i purchased this one in paris it was something that i had in my list of things to get so definitely if you if you live in england and you're traveling to paris and you're looking for a really good body lotion that's really going to nourish and moisturize but also hydrate your skin give this one a go it smells really nice it's not sticky it absor it absorbs very well and it's just really great especially for people that have any kind of you know issues with their skin itchiness and very dry a lot of dryness this is really great so i have these really nice traditional soaps so the they're called this ones are called savon de marseille and they smell incredibly good i don't really use these kind of uh, soap bars on my body anymore but you know if if i don't have any soap i will definitely use them it doesn't bother me i just prefer to use cream cream uh, shower cleansers and you know body cleansers and this one is jasmine i could one of my favorite fragrances or smells is jasmine i could not resist this one so i bought these two this these have a different smell i have no idea what smell it is because it's in french and i don't know it's um what does it say let's see it has some kind of oils this one is chever Felu. I have no idea. I, I don't know if I'm saying something silly. I'm being crazy here, but these smell so good. So I bought these because I thought it would be nice to have if I would have some guests that need soaps, but also to wash my makeup brushes. I like this shape. I think this is particularly good when you're washing your brushes. Let me just grab one here. So you do so like that. You can hold it one side and just use the, the brush to, you know, roll it in scrub it in so i thought that would be really nice and also you know why not wash your your makeup brushes with a nice soap and i do this because i find that you don't need to buy a special shampoo for washing your makeup brushes that using any of these shampoo any of these bars work really well It'll, what i do is that i wash them with soap like these because you need a soap to get rid of the oils of the makeup the makeup can be if you use a very gentle shampoo you will spend hours trying to remove the makeup so what i do is afterwards once in a while i use a conditioner a hair conditioner and then that keeps the bristles nice and soft 
So these are so nice. They smell so good. I think this is some kind of traditional soap from Paris, but from France. And I think it's a, uh, I don't know. I just feel like this is, this is one of the nicest souvenirs I could have gotten. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to talking about a little bit of makeup. So the reality is that most of the, f the makeup you find in Paris, you can also find it here in England. So things like Chanel, Guerlain, what else? Um, all these brands, all these new brands that, that we have here, you can also find them there. So there's no point in me trying to buy something that I can actually buy here. So I was looking more to find brands that we don't have here in England. So one of the, the brands is more like a kind of like drugstore makeup, which is called Bourgeois. I think, I hope I'm saying that right. Bourgeois. And, uh, the, the, and also the, this brand used to be sold here in England, as far as I know. And now they have come back. However, I have not seen them in stores yet. I've only seen them online. So when I went to Paris, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what is available online here in England and, and what is not. So then if I see it there in Paris, I can buy those things that don't exist here. And that's what I did. I purchased, so I purchased this eyeshadow because the eyeshadow, the single eyeshadows are not available here as far as I know, or at least at the moment that I'm filming this video and I bought this this is just like a very simple kind of beigey yellowy tone and this is just like a kind of like a base color I use it before I put on other eyeshadow I just like to use this as a light base so they have a little bit of a smell and I thought this the packaging is really cute very compact so I thought why not and I've been using it a lot I've been I've been rather enjoying it Another thing, another product that I bought from the brand is this, this is a blush slash bronzer. It's like a very kind of like brownish, brownish blush. It's very nice. It's very nice colors in the color Cyan. I have to use this a little more to tell you what I think, but I do know that most of the blushes are available here in England. So if you're, if you're wanting to purchase them, you know, this is great. But what I most liked about this and why I purchased this, because I really love this size. It's a size that you can put in your handbag and that if you're traveling, you don't have to take like these big uh, makeup compacts. So I thought this was really nice. I really like this color, but I think I have to use it a little bit more. I usually prefer something more pinky and I thought I would use this maybe as a, maybe like a bronzer. But I don't know. I need to. I need to test it a little bit more. But that was nice to to get. So another thing that I saw we didn't have here is this powder. This is an illuminating powder. It's yeah. It's not like illuminating as those that you put all over. It's more like a highlight powder, perhaps like a very subtle highlight powder. I thought that was interesting and I bought it and it's just also quite nice in a small compact and it's like a pinky powder. I don't know if it's going to show up here. So let's see how I can show you how, what this powder does. I'm just going to try and grab it with a brush. Let me see if it will show up here. So it's just like a very, very gentle shimmering but it's not it's not like a like a glitter okay here it says bourgeois drain turpits it's legendary java rice powder an ultra fine velvety texture for a smooth and radiant complexion so um let me let me rewind it is not a highlighter it is an illuminating powder that's why you will not see these speckles of glitter it is more like a illuminating powder however it's not something that i would want to use under my eyes but to give like a little bit of a radiance so you could use it like around this area to set to set the face but also to give like a little bit of radiance and it also has a little bit of a smell but it smells nice it has a really nice smell so uh, yeah, that's nice. Maybe I need to I need to use a little bit more to see really what it does for the skin. So I can't really tell you if it's amazing. And the other final thing that I bought that you can definitely get here in England, but I just was so desperate to get 
um, is an eyeliner. So I bought their eyeliner, which is called, what is it? Felt Tip Eyeliner Ultra Black 24 Hours. So this is from Bourjois. And I can show you, I can show you how it goes. So it is really black and I quite like it, but I don't know. I think the, the tip is a little bit thick and I kind of prefer things that are a little bit slimmer. I mean, you can make it slimmer, but I think it's a little bit thick. I prefer something a little bit uh, thinner, but it is it is actually really nice and it does stay put. It doesn't move, it doesn't budge. So, I mean, for a drugstore, for a drugstore product, I think... I think it's not bad. It's not bad. I still have to use it a little bit more, to be honest, but uh, I have been enjoying it. So let's finalize by talking about some of the hair products that I purchased in Sephora. So the first thing I pick up was this serum. This is called, let's see. So this is the serum strengthening hair serum. It says it has biotin, phytoproteins. I've been using it, I've been using it every time I wash my hair. So about twice a week. I think you're supposed to use it a little bit more often, but I am always afraid that it's gonna make my hair feel oily, although it does not feel oily at all when I use it. But I just don't like using too many things on my scalp after I've washed it, washed it because I have an oily scalp. So I'm always afraid that applying anything to my roots could make it feel a little bit more oily. If that makes sense. Um, however, you know, I've been using, I'm going to use it up and, you know, I don't expect miracles because, uh, and I, you know, you shouldn't expect miracles from any of these topical things anyway, but um, I think it's nice, you know, why not incorporate a serum to your scalp? You know, this, our scalp is essentially skin and it also needs nourishment. So why not incorporate something like this? So at the moment, it's not like I can tell it's doing anything special for my hair, but I think I, I have been definitely enjoying to have something to nourish my scalp and to perhaps help strengthen and stimulate hair growth. So that's that. Another product I've spoken before, maybe in my empties, I'm, I'm going to link it up here. In one of my recent empties, I spoke about a scalp scrub from Sephora. And so I purchased this one now. In the summer, I had purchased in Portugal, because I went on holidays to Portugal, I purchased the, the travel size version to try it first, of course. And I really loved it. So when I went to Paris, I went in Sephora and this was the first product that I wanted to get. And I got it. So this is a cleansing scalp scrub and it has apple cider vinegar, which is kind of a trendy ingredient now for hair care. It's supposed to help soothe the hair, but also help to remove excess buildup. But I particularly just enjoyed this one. I love the smell of it. It has a clean smell. It's not overpowering. It's just, it's just delightful. It smells really nice, really. I really enjoy using a scalp scrub in my hair wash routine because it really helps to remove build up but also as it, it, it really does soothe the scalp and it feels so good to massage it into your scalp it's it's so relaxing so i think that that's something good and i also like that it's a cleanser so i use it as part of my hair double cleanse process so i use this as my first cleanse and then i use my normal shampoo as my second cleanse and it's been working great. And also why I love it, because it's not so expensive. There is a lot of other amazing scalp scrubs out there, but honestly, they are rather expensive. So this one I thought was a really reasonable price and I love what it does for me. So the last product that I have is this one from Sephora, which is a body scrub. This is a sugar, brown sugar body scrub, and it also has several other oils like sunflower oil. It also has castor oil and it has also moringa oil, which are really nice for the skin. And I love using a body scrub because, you know, I have a lot of ingrowns in my legs, but also just to smooth any rough areas in the body. And I actually had purchased this product in the 
not this year, but last year's summer, I went to Portugal and I purchased the small version because there's a smaller version of this and I just loved it. Again, I like the smell of the products. They're not overpowering. It smells really good and the, the grains are not so thick. I don't know if you can see, the grains are not so thick. So they're not like so, they're not very scratchy. So I really enjoy that. And also the other thing where I, what I like about this product is that because of those oils, you almost wouldn't have to moisturize after showering. After you use this, you wouldn't have to if you don't want to because it leaves like a really nice oil film in your skin, kind of like a protective barrier to the external aggressors, uh, but also just leaves the skin feeling really nice. So that's why I really like this product. And again, it's a, it's a, it's a reasonably priced, so that's why I purchased So guys, these are all the products I wanted to share with you that I purchased in Paris. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know if there's any of the products that I mentioned that you are already using. Tell me what do you think about them? and whether there are any other suggestions for my shopping in Paris. Is there any other of your favorite uh, French pharmacy products or any products that you know that you can only buy in France that you would recommend? Because I think I'm going to be traveling again there and I would really like to know, you know, what else could I purchase or what any other products I should try. And let me know if you have a particular interest in any of the products that I mentioned, if you want me to do a deeper dive, because I'm aware I didn't speak about any ingredients, in in-depth ingredients and stuff like that. So if there is something that you want me to make, to give you a little bit more information, I will be happy to do that. So let me know that. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to give me a like at the end of the video, go follow me on Instagram. And I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Ciao. Great, that would be for me. It would really help with the YouTube algorithm. And so that, you know, a lot of people, so it can reach a lot of more people. So that, <laughs> so this is it for, this is it.